What's up, y'all? Antonio. Hope y'all doing well out there. Wait for a moment, see who jumps on with me. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. See who jumps on. See who jumps on with me, if anybody. Just want to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you living right now. <laughs> uh, I wanted to come here, day number 10, my food vacation. First of all, please don't try what I'm trying. If you, if you watch this video, please consult your doctor and people like that. But I'm documenting my little my little journey. Um, so I want to say, what's up? Who are you? I see there's one person on with me right now. I want to know who that is. Who you is? Who you is? Who you is? Uh, before I start talking, I always like to greet somebody. So if you guys don't mind, if you guys don't mind, please wave and say hello. Let me know who you are. Don't just sneak in and sneak out. I really want to know who you are before I start talking a whole lot. Um, just getting done working out. Just getting done with my workout. What's up, Miss Parker? Uh, just getting done with my workout. Um, I did a light workout today. I uh, did an hour on the treadmill, and I did a little bit of uh, uh, some of the weight machines. I didn't do free weights today, but some of the weight machines. And um, so today is day number 10. Today is literally day number 10 of me not eating anything solid at all. Uh, 10 days ago, which was that, what's that? March the 5th, I think. March the 5th, I decided that I was just done with eating solid foods for a while. So I decided I was just gonna drink water, some juices here and there, but mostly focus on soups and broths and stuff like that. And it has been an amazing, amazing, amazing time uh, in my life. I mean, I'll be 48 uh, on June the 7th of this year. And I feel, I feel amazing. Um, just, I just started coming back to the gym. I think it was three days ago. And when I started, um, pulling back off of, when I just made a decision to stop eating, um, I know I had some, you know, you guys know I did this before about four or five years ago, but I've learned so much since that time. Um, this time I didn't start off with all these juices and smoothies and stuff like that with a whole bunch of fruit in it. But I decided to start off this time with some low glycemic, low sugar, you know, soups and broths and stuff like that. And I'm telling you, even though the first couple of days was a trip, um, I had to get in here and get my mind ready and get my mind right. You know, because when you live life around people and mostly what we do as human beings, we eat all day long. We eat all day, every day. Um, uh, and even when we sleep, we're dreaming about food. And so the first couple of days I had to like get myself together. I had to like, okay, uh, going over places where people are eating, um, hanging out with them, being in public, watching TV, all these things, you know, watching people do their thing. And it's like, man, I'm over here sipping a cup of broth, you know, a couple of, a cup of green, green soup or a tomato soup or whatever. And so it took me a couple of minutes to kind of get myself back, you know, like when you kind of working out again, you get back in there again. And but now I'm getting back in in there. I'm 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 doing my thing. I'm in the gym and I'm feeling great. And 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 one thing I want to I want to talk about, you know, they talk about sickness and our immune system. And I was reading the other day and listening to some people talk and they were talking about most of our sickness, our immune system is in our gut. And man, I started looking at my own gut saying, my goodness, Tony, oh, look at your gut, man. If that's where my immune system is, uh, which kicks off all these viruses and fight these things strong, then if I don't have a strong gut, uh, I'm really hurting myself. Right. And so, man, I just made a decision. I just made a decision to just stop eating solid foods. And so today being my 10th day, um, you would think I wouldn't have any energy. You would think that I would be like, nah you know, you know, feeling low. It's actually the opposite. When you pull back from foods and you're not eating so many calories, it's like the body just comes into this. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you it works. All I can say 
is it, it, it really does work. And uh, again, just I, I don't have a scale. I'm not weighing myself. I can look at myself in the mirror and see the difference. I can put on a shirt like this shirt right here, which was all tight on me um, less than 10 days ago. And now I see the fact that, you know, it's drooping off of me. I can see my own neck. I can see my own face. I can see my own cheekbone. I don't need to weigh myself like that right now. But I just wanted to say to anybody that's out there that, you know, it's I'm doing this because of discipline, like making a decision to like discipline my body, making a decision to like, I'm not going to go down this same road that so many people. And I've struggled on this road of losing weight, staying in shape, getting off. And 2020, 2020 really, you know, I allowed 2020 to knock me off of you know, the places that I was going, the good things that I was doing in my own life. I allowed 2020. 2020 didn't do nothing. 2020 didn't take nothing. I allowed to it. I bit, I, I, I knelt to it. I, you know what I'm saying? I relented my power to it. And now I simply decided that I'm not going to do that. And, you know, I'm going to move forward with my life and make a decision to do, to make better decisions. I'm not buying no drugs. I'm not, you know, powerful diet drugs. I'm not buying no, no diet smoothies. I'm not buying anything. I'm literally making the decision to just get up every day and to, to drink broths and soups and water and come to the gym. And, and for the first time in my life, y'all check this out. I haven't been to a restaurant in 10 days. I haven't eaten like literally, and this is the first time I cleaned my entire kitchen out. I cleaned the entire kitchen out of all salt, all uh, herbs, all like seasonings. Um, I cleaned my couch, my, I mean my kitchen out of everything, flour, cornmeal, uh, uh, ketchup. There's nothing in my house, like literally. So for the first time, I think in, you know, uh, other than the time that I did it five years ago, I don't have any condiments. I don't have any seasonings. I don't have anything in my house. And so I noticed how my taste buds are starting to change. Like literally like I'm, you know, my tongue is like, oh, so this is how it feels not to have, you know, a billion pounds or grams of sugar stuck in your mouth. I noticed myself the other day, just giving testimonies. I'm sitting there watching TV and normally I'm squinting. If I'm far away, I'm squinting, especially I'm, I'm normally watching ESPN and I'm squinting at the little ticker going through and the names. And last night, just simply last night, I'm sitting there and I'm reading the ticker going by and I'm reading the little names. I'm saying, and it just dawned on me. I was like, man, I can read that. I was like, whoa, and I wasn't doing this and I didn't move up. I'm just literally sitting back on the couch. And normally I'm like squinting. Who is that? And I'm sitting there reading exactly what's happening. And I'm like, wow, Dr. Sebi and stuff that he taught and other people, it's, it's truth. And so to just see my body, just literally uh, the inflammation, see a lot of things that, that I was dealing with and a lot of people are dealing with, you're not as uh, heavy as people think you are, but a lot of us are puffed up. Why are we puffed? It's the inflammation. So many of us, we look heavier than we really are. And why is that? It's simply the inflammation, y'all. If you guys go back and look at some of my videos, just go back 10 days, just go back 10 days, go back seven, eight days, literally look at my face in those videos and look at my face now. You can see that the inflammation, it's just, infl most of it is inflammation, which of course brings mucus and which of course brings um, the opportunity and sets the environment for diabetes and all this other stuff, um, immune, immune diseases and disorders and things like that. But simply me saying, you know what? No, I'm not gonna eat this hamburger, no. I don't care how good that new sandwich looks at McDonald's. I don't care how delicious or how delicious I think that sandwich from Popeye's is or this meal over here at my favorite Italian restaurant or steak restaurant. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but I've decided to say no to those things that I really do like. So, so it's like me, I'm not walking around acting like I don't like those things. No, I really do like those things. But again, I am quickly approaching 48 years old and I want to feel, I want to feel good. I, it's the, it's, that's why I'm not weighing myself right now. I might buy me a, a weight scale about day 25 or day 30. I might do it then. But the biggest part of all of this for me as a man is to feel good. It's to really feel good. I want to feel good. I was having problems with like restless leg syndrome in the bed at night and all these things, man. And, and it's like now I'm going to bed, y'all. I'm sleeping. My legs are cool. I see my legs are going down. I see, you know, all these things that set the table for all of these um, diseases in our life. I just realized that I know prayer works. I know a lot of other things work. Thing work. Um, 
at the same time, I know that taking responsibility for my body, deciding that I don't want to be a glutton. I've decided that I don't want to be a glutton. And yeah, sometimes I go through these ups and downs and I struggle. You know, like I said, I had made up so many reasons in my mind that I deserve to be fat. That I deserve to eat this food. You know what I'm saying? That food was becoming my 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 spouse. Food was becoming was my lover. And making a decision to just say, you know what? No. No, nah, I'm better than this. Like, I need discipline. So it's not you need go do surgery or do this. Yeah, you can do all those things and they work. But the main surgery that I needed to have on my heart was the surgery of discipline. Telling myself no. That's the one thing I realized that I don't like telling myself. I don't like telling myself no. I do not like telling myself no. And when I told myself no, yes, my body started screaming. <laughs> Tony, don't want this and I want that. Yeah, mm-hmm. But I found out that every day I got up and I made up in my mind, even though I haven't told myself how many days I'm going to do this, I made up in my mind that today I'm going to be disciplined. Today, today. So, like, give you an example. Like, today, I got up. I I drank a little bit of water. I didn't I didn't drink any soup. I didn't drink any juice. I came to the gym. I had it made up in my mind. I'm going to the gym. I had to take care of some business, which I did. I went and took care of the business, you know, on the computer, take care of this, look at this, blah, 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 blah. And then I said, okay, before you eat anything today, you're going to the gym. And guess what? Before I before I ate a thing today, I got my butt up, got in the truck, came to the gym put in an hour and a half in the, in the gym and now I'm probably going to go to the park uh, and I need to have my time with the Lord. I normally go to the to the park, uh, you know, I ain't trying to be deep, but go to the park and have my little spiritual time and go back to the house and then get me something, you know, I got some broth there um, that I'm probably going to heat up and some water and I'm, I'm on, that's my day going to be. Um, so I just want to take this time to encourage you and I want to say this, I put this in the little statement. You know, this has been 10 days, right? I've gone to the restroom, solid restroom, three times. So it tell, it, it's telling us, telling me how many times, um, how much stuff we got in our body, y'all. Think about it. I haven't eaten in 10 days. I went to the restroom and had a solid bowel movement on my third day. I went to the restroom and had a solid bowel movement on my eighth day. And this morning, before I came to the gym, I had a solid bowel movement. You're like, What? And, and, and think about how much food is in our intestines that's really jacking up our immune systems. A lot of times we have these gut issues, right? And a lot of times our immune system is down because we have leaky gut and we have all these gut problems, right? Yes, G-U-T. And I, I, I realized that this fast or this food uh, vacation is causing autophagy to happen if you guys haven't looked up the word autophagy look up what happens when you fast this word is spelled a-u-t-o-p-a-g-h-y autophagy something like that uh, autophagy a-u-t-o-p-h-a-g-y something like that but you can find it autophagy it talks about what kicks into the body when you do intermittent fasting when you decide to stop eating the body gets to work on itself it starts getting those old cells it starts going into the system get going into the intestines raking down all that plaque and stuff that's in our intestines that's all in our system because because autophagy really doesn't happen a lot because we continue to eat and we don't rest um enough after we eat and therefore the body just keeps stacking 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 food and all those things starts happening to us. So autophagy starts happening. Next thing you know, you go to the restroom. All of the waste that's been trying to get out of the body for like the last two weeks, a month, sometimes longer than that, it starts pushing out. And I'm telling you guys, the Lord built an amazing uh, machine when he built your body. When it, when, the, when it says that we're fearfully and we're wonderfully made, it is really the truth. It is really the truth. Our bodies are magnificent creations. Our bodies are magnificent machines. And our bodies know how to take care of themselves if we don't abuse it, which means abnormally use it. I mean, people go on a fast, cavities start getting healed. I mean, it's, you may not believe me, but you can go look it up, man. Cavities and stuff like that, people's eyesight, stuff that people were on medication, you, you can go look it up for yourself simply when people decide not to eat processed foods. That's one of the biggest things about this for me is 
not eating processed foods. You know, I also know that, you know, the music, my music just came out, right? I just did this whole thing. You know, y'all know I got my single out, Moving On. Please support that if you can. Please support Moving On. Purchase it, uh, um, um, like it, bring it into your playlist on Spotify. But Moving On is a song about, you know, moving on from one part of your life to a brand new, fresh part of your life, right? And, and getting my health together is a major part of me moving on with my life. You got to do it. I mean, you got to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know we all have to leave this planet, but why? I don't want to leave this planet with a whole bunch of tubes in my, in my body and, and, and sick and just broke down simply because I can't stop uh, drinking Coca-Colas and I can't stop eating fried chicken and I can't stop eating these biscuits and these, and, and these sweets that I really do like. I mean, I don't want to go out like that. I don't want to go out like that. I want to when i leave i just want to just just translate on over right i want to feel good and that's all i'm saying i'm a 47 year old man talking to my other people some of y'all are 20 and 25 and 30 and 50 and 100 but it doesn't matter none of us have to eat bad food none of us have to sit on the couch and binge watch netflix like i was doing i'm just telling y'all none of us have to sit there in this mindset and we we're looking at ourselves and we know we don't feel good and we're feeling the chest pains and we're feeling the head pains and we're feeling all the body aches and we're feeling all that we see that we're barely fitting in our pants and our shirts and stuff we nobody has to tell us that nobody has to say you know you know Nobody has to tell you anything. Nobody has to embarrass you. But I'm telling you, it's not about anybody else but you. This ain't about nobody else but me. And I decided to do this video because I want to share it as inspiration. You know, like I was saying about the music, I know people are starting to call. Antonio, can you come here? Would you like to travel here? Do you mind coming here? And I'm like, man, I know to really travel and to do what I want to do. And the fact that I'm saying I'm going to sell a million songs, I'm going to have millions of downloads and hundreds of thousands of this and that. I got to get on the road and I got to meet millions of people. And how can I meet millions of people if, man, I'm on the airport, like, oh, I'm in the airport, like, oh, my gosh, I'm in the hotel room. I can't even walk down the airport to catch my flight oh man i can't even get up there and sing i'm losing my breath i'm just walking around like i'm just unhealthy how can i how can i even attempt to reach my goal if i'm not physically fit like people say it don't matter about being physically fit man it don't matter it's about the spirit come on y'all stop it stop it stop it stop it it does matter why would god let most of us be born with a healthy body why would he give you a healthy body a strong body when you're young and say it don't matter why, why would he do that why would why would he give you a healthy body and then we turn around and say it don't matter that you got a healthy body all that matters is your spiritual man no all of it matters the mind matters the, the, the mental life the spiritual life the physical life all of it matters why because it was a gift so that's all I want to say is I see my body changing it's crazy y'all I, I, I would just can't tell you guys what to do. I'm not your doctor, but I dare some of y'all to just take a few steps back from the addictions that we have with this food and with the sedentary lifestyle that some of us have. I, I, I dare you guys to just take some steps. Some of you guys already know in your heart that you've been being inspired and pushed and poked to go into a new area of living and a new area of eating. And it's just like, it's so hard, man. I'm telling y'all, it's so hard to do this when you're addicted, man. When you're addicted to this food and not just the food, just the lifestyle. I mean, try going out to lunch with somebody and you sit there and eat a bowl of soup. I mean, try going over somebody's house and watching the game or watching a movie. And they're like, what you going to do? And, you know, going on a date. And they're like, I'm just going to eat, you know, go to a, to a Chinese restaurant. And you just going to take some of that, that little onion soup <laughs> and some water or some hot tea. Uh, so that's all. I, I just want to encourage you guys. I'm going to try to come. I might come once a day um, doing a live video to encourage my brothers and sisters out here who may be um, taking a step in your life. And you need somebody to relate to. Somebody that ain't gonna that ain't gonna knock you down, and somebody ain't gonna talk about you because I'm going through the same thing. But I also see the changes in my life that's happening right now. It's just one change. I mean, I was getting so addicted to Coca Cola and ice. I don't, I don't know what was happening to me, man. I was drinking so many cokes. I, I don't I don't know. I, I, it was just I don't know. I just got into this moment where I was just that thing that Coca Cola and that ice was just. I'm telling you, I was just going in. I don't know what I I. I I went years without drinking a soda, y'all. Listen to me. I went years. And then all of a sudden, I just... I just...
just started drinking Coca-Cola. And it got out of hand. I went years without going to Popeye's. Went there one time, tried that sandwich. Next thing you know, I just let go of all self-control. Started eating three, four, five, six times a day. Little, little, not no heavy Thanksgiving meals, but saying, you look up and you're like, man, I ate five times today. And I ate 2,000 calories five times today. And because, you know, you ain't trying to, but you end up doing that. That's what was happening to me. And I made a decision to just stop. So that's all. Day number 10. No solid food. That means no bread. Somebody's going to ask you this. No bread, no rice, no meats, no vegetables. If it's not in a liquid, I have not eaten it. It has to be a liquid. Soups. No, no salads. I'm telling you, if it's not a liquid. Coo -coo 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 -coo. So whatever it is, it has to be blended up or it has to be already blended. Um, so 10 days. I mean, maybe somebody can blend me some pork chops. Maybe that'll be okay. Some juice, some 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 pork chop juice. <laughs> Somebody can blend me some pork chop juice, some fried chicken juice. <laughs> I'm gonna drink me some chicken. Oh my god, that's hilarious. But nah, nah, and I ain't, you know, it's, it's anyway. I ain't gonna even go down there. I, I'm gonna say something. My mind's creative, so I've been said something, and somebody been not go out there and try it, and I ain't gonna do all that. So yeah, day number ten, I feel fantastic. Uh, I, all I know is. Birthday number 48. Birthday number 48. You better watch out because your boy coming back strong in full effect. So, and I want to inspire you guys, man. You know, 2020 has done a lot of mental, mental work on some of us. A lot of mental work. A lot of mental work. And uh, you're seeing it pop off in our society. You're seeing it with families, with marriages, with businesses. People are stressed. I mean, y'all don't understand. People talking about the covid what it's done to the body. Ain't nobody talking about what COVID has done to the mental. Ain't nobody talking about what COVID has done to the mind. Ain't nobody talking about that, boy. Ain't nobody talking about what it's doing to the soul. Mm-mm. Ain't nobody talking about that yet. We just talking about you preserving these bodies. But boy, that's some stuff going on in these minds of ours. And I'm telling you, I want to be in tip-top shape. Because, man, it's the, it's the stuff happening here, man. People are angry. People are mad. People are tense. People are just, I mean, can't y'all see it? Like, serious, can't y'all, on the real talk, can't y'all see that people have changed in their minds? Okay, they're healthy, but can't you see that people have changed? Can't you see that people have been under fear of death for over a year? And don't you see what has happened now? Can't you see the valves that are being burst? Can you see how people are going off? And, and, and we're thinking this is just funny, man. This ain't funny. We're, if if the Lord don't stop it, we're going to have a mental health crisis. People got to get out, man. We got to walk. We got to get some of this strain out of us. Man, we got to get some of this stuff on top of us. We got to get out of here. We got to pump this weight. We got to lose this weight. We got to get some good stuff on the inside of us. Man, I'm telling you, if we don't get this stress out of us, that fear, that fear that the whole country world has been under the fear of death. Look, look at people you know. No, number one, look at yourself. I can see how it's impacted me personally. I'm like, wow, I've changed. Now, I lost my mama last year and some other people. So that's changed. That hurt. But man, I'm telling you, we're all concerned about the body. But really, it's a spiritual thing. It's a mental thing. A soulish thing. And we got to start addressing that. Where's the vaccine for the mind? And Miss Marilyn, you know. Miss Marilyn, you know. Where's, where's the vaccine for the mind? <laughs> where's the vaccine for the soul? Where's the vaccine for the spirit man? I'm telling you, man, people been cooped up in a prison. What it feels like a prison for over a year? <sighs> okay. Okay. And watch what's happened with the with the new drugs. They're gonna come out with the mental stuff. Watch what happens with the. They think it's over. Oh, everybody got the vaccines and it's fine. Okay, all right, all right. Things gonna. All right. I'm telling y'all, we gotta be ready, man. Get that weight up off of you. That's what I'm learning for myself. Gotta get this weight up off me. Not just the physical weight, but the spiritual weight, but this life weight. 
this fear weight. weight. Fear has come into our life and has put this weight and it has suppressed us, man. It has suppressed us. It has pushed us down. It has. And now it's time to break out. I didn't, I didn't mean to turn this into a preaching. I just wanted to talk about my process. And I know that this is a remedy for some of us. You can get the weight off. You may not do it the way I do it, but you can get the weight off. And some of y'all, you know, are in better places than me. But you can do it. You can do it. So thank y'all for letting me come and just talk for a few moments. I pray that something I said or have showed as an example um, has been a blessing to you. Um, I have a uh, I have a series of videos going on on my on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is the Felon Company, T H E P H E L O N Company, and it's called a 2021 Food Vacation. Uh, every day, I um, I try to do a video about my process. I may use this one for uh, my video today. I don't know. I may. I may not. But I just want to let you guys know if you want to kind of follow my journey in in a more you know a different way. Uh, follow me over at subscribe to my page the felon company i have i got a whole lot of different types of stuff it's not just me it's stuff music how music to sleep with i have inspirational stuff i mean i have more than just you know my voice on my page but if you guys would like to connect with me over there you can go over there the felon company and you can find the playlist for the 2021 food vacation and uh, i love to um to hang out with you guys on youtube okay if you have any questions, please hit me up. Uh, please hit me up. I'll, I am I'm an open book. Um, yes. Oh, I like that. Let us lay aside every weight. Hebrews 12 and 1. Yes, sir. We got to lay it aside. The weight ain't going to fall off. <laughs> we got we to gotta lay it off. You got to lay off the weight. Oh, you got to give the weight a pink slip. You got. We all have to give the weight a pink slip. We have to lay it off. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and make that happen, y'all. So, all right. Any questions, any comments, I'm going to go look. Again, thank you, everybody, for supporting the single, Moving On. Um, I got some cool stuff to talk about coming up. And, um, oh, I want to give a big shout-out to my dudes, PJ Morton, um, and everybody, uh, Molly, um, Jonathan, all, everybody, everybody that won a Grammy, man. That's just a blessing. Woo! Especially brothers that's doing Urban Soul. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm just happy for everybody, man, that, that won a Grammy that understands this urban soul, urban inspirational thing. So to give a shout out to PJ, Molly, uh, Jonathan, everybody that's, that's won, man. It, it's a, it's just a blessing to see my brothers doing well. So I celebrate them publicly. You guys are setting the standard and, uh, I appreciate all you all are doing for brothers like us, people like us. All right. Talk to y'all later. Take care of yourselves. You're fearfully and you're wonderfully made. Peace.